it's really bad. Yeah, pump up that energy. Pump it up. Hey guys, I'm Jess, and today on Beauty Pop, I'm gonna go over what I purchased from the Villains Collection. And I'm specifically focusing on Ursula in this video because I purchased two Ursula things from the collection. So if you haven't heard, Walgreens has the Villains Collection out. So there's Ursula, Magnificent, and then there's also the Evil Queen. So they have their own beauty books along with other makeup items that you can purchase from the collections and there's makeup wipes which I did pick up some of those but I'll show you those later and there's nail polish that goes along with it and also like hair things and stuff like that but I'm just gonna show you what I purchased from the Ursula collection so let me start off with the first thing I got first thing I purchased was the shimmering powder and I think it was around three dollars and it has Ursula on it and I didn't know if it was gonna be a shimmer or if it was gonna be like sparkle it's like sparkle there's sparkle <laughs> but it's really cool because it has like this screw on cap like that and if you unscrew it oh yeah none of it's gonna fall out were you guys scared I wasn't because there's like this cap on it which is really cool let me see if I can do you see it and then you can just pop open the cap like so and then there's it's like a salt shaker basically um but it's very shimmery i know it wouldn't show up on camera if i even tried because it is white but i did use it today i used it kind of to highlight my face <laughs> because i was like why not let's give it a go and i think it worked pretty well um i'm a little bit more sparkly than normal but and eh, some days you just need a little more sparkle in your life so i purchased that and i don't think i'd really purchase this again I just was curious as to what it was, if it was actually sparkle or shimmer, and I'll show you the packaging because it's kind of awesome. So that's what it looks like. It has Ursula, and on the back, it just is like shimmering powder and stuff. And this is an elf, once again, this is made by Disney, just like the, um, the Dare to Dream collection, which I actually picked one up because I was like, I just picked this one up because I was like reading the back just to make sure that it is I think it's the same exact thing so um, like same company made both of these because they are not elf but still pretty good quality and so that was three dollars the shimmering powder so I of course picked up the beauty book and it is called cast a spell I don't know if they're all called that I need to check that out but it was ten dollars at Walgreens and yeah I don't think the art on the front is as cool as like the dare to dream ones they're more like I don't know I guess it's like darker because they're villains makes sense right and on the inside it's very similar to all the rest oh by the way Walgreens mm -mm. they they're ridiculous kind of because you know people like safety tabs on their makeup I'm just gonna point this out because you know, it's cool to have the first one not have a safety tag on it, but they were literally taking the safety tags off of them because I found one that had one on it, and then I just looked at the one in the front to see, but then the rest of them didn't have any on them. So it was kind of weird, like, you should just have the one in the front, obviously not have it on there so you can see inside the beauty book, but you don't need to take them off the rest of them. I feel like that's unnecessary. Anyways, little rant. That wasn't cool, Walgreens. <laughs> But anyways, um, on the inside, after my little rant there, um, see so you have a mirror, and then if you turn that, there's beauty looks you can do with this palette. And I haven't really looked at it, but that one's really pretty. You see it? Isn't that pretty? And then on this side, let me move the plastic. You're getting the plastic on top, of course, and you can take these out. Too. they're just like the dare to dream so you are getting nine shadows you're getting two blushes a lip it's like a lip gloss and then also a pencil and a little tiny kabuki brush it's so little it's a baby kabuki so I have been playing with these obviously um, the only little pet peeve that I did notice is with these two sparkly shades like this one and this one right here there was a very shimmery overlay, and, ooh, that's very soft. I haven't used that yet. But I'm <laughs> distracted today. There are very shimmer overlays on the top of them, but once you take that off, it's not 
like shimmery more it's more of a satin so that is kind of misleading but other than that like all the shades are pretty pigmented there are a good mix of satinies and some matte shades too and like this one right here is pretty matte it's called Ursula's Lair and I use that in my crease today so then on my lid I used the Vanessa shade and I just packed that on my lid and then I also used this um, the shimmer powder and I just patted that on top of my lid to give it a little extra sparkle because I was feeling the sparkle today but yeah that's all I did and I oh I used um, Trident this white shade it's a good highlighter so I use that underneath my brow bone but yeah I'll show you some of them just to give you a little idea and I'll put swatches next as well this is called underwater isn't it pretty so we're gonna focus focus okay and let's see let me try another one see which they kind of feel pretty buttery in texture, but they are a little powdery, if you can see that pretty well. Let me show you. I feel focused. Can you see how it's kind of flaky a little bit? I just noticed it while I was doing swatches of all of them. But let me see if I can show you closer to the actual shadows. If you can see that they're kind of powdery, it's not a big deal. Um, some of them, you just gotta build up the color intensity. Let me just go ahead and see. Do you see the, like, it's just powdery. So basically all you have to do to remove that situation is make sure to tap off your brush before applying it to your face or else you're gonna get fallout underneath your eye and that's not cool. But yeah, I had no problems with fallout really and they were super easy. Flower. Anyways, before my dog knocks something over. <laughs> um, I don't even know what I was saying. They're easy to work with, I think that's what I was saying. But I did this eye look really quickly and yeah, I had no problems blending things out. So if you picked up anything in the Dare to Dream collection, any of the beauty books or anything like that, they're pretty much consistent with that kind of shadows. So if you like the texture and consistency of those shadows, you're gonna like these because they're like the same thing. The only difference is their circle. <laughs> like that's it. And then also the two blushes are really pretty. See? I am wearing Kiss the Girl, which is the lighter pink color. The other color is called Poor Unfortunate Souls, <laughs> which I like that. I just started playing the song in my head. But I really love this pink color, but it definitely wouldn't show up on any darker skin tones because it barely showed up on mine. So you can see it a little bit, but, and it does have like a satiny kind of feel, and then the Poor Unfortunate Souls has sparkle in it, but it's really, this color is insanely pigmented. Like, yes please. I'm gonna check out the wear and stuff today and whenever I do a tutorial, I'll be able to inform you guys of how stuff wear on my face over the day. And what's last, we have this cute little kabuki brush, which I'm gonna take out. Aw, it's so little, look at it, it's so little. And it has the cute seashell on it. And it's pretty soft, like, you could use this for the blush pretty easily. So that's a good thing. This is cute, I may just take it out and like put it on my little um, vanity, because it's so cute. And what also comes in here is you're gonna get an eyeliner. Put this out. It looks like this, it's just a pencil eyeliner and I haven't tried it out. It doesn't look black. That doesn't look black at all. Whoa, it's silver. That's insane. I thought it was black, but it's actually silver. So that's cool, they didn't just give you another black eyeliner, they actually gave you something different, which is, which is pretty different. Like in all the beauty books, I've never gotten anything but a black eyeliner. Maybe a brown, but mostly it's always been black, so like as long as I can remember. So that's really pretty. It was actually pretty soft once I got it going. 
And the last thing in this palette is a lip color. And it also has a little shell on the packaging that stole Ariel's voice, I'm pretty sure. If you can see it, it's in gold. But it looks intense, right? <laughs> it looks like, whoa, like my lips are gonna be neon or something. But it's not, it's um, a doe foot applicator, pretty much like that. And the color, I have it on my lips right now. It's just a clear gloss. I'll put it on my hand to try to show you, but I don't think it's gonna show up because it's just glossy. That's all it is. So you don't have to be scared or anything. You can actually wear this around. And it smells pretty good. It smells like baked goods or something. So it doesn't have that weird chemically smell. So overall for $10, I think you're getting a really good deal. You're getting nine shadows, two blushes, a lip color, and really unique eyeliner, which is silver, because not a lot of people have silver eyeliners. And also a kabuki brush, which is really cute and tiny. <laughs> So, I think for $10, you're getting a pretty good deal. I really liked it, what I've used thus far. I think I'm gonna have a lot more fun playing with this, coming up with some cool looks because there are some really pretty blues which I don't normally use in my eye looks and, um, and some greens as well. I don't really, I don't really go towards like the purples or more of like the golden -y tones or something like this, obviously, which is more like kind of smoky, but a little hint of like gold with it. So if you are a fan of Ursula, I would grab this. It's a pretty good buy, and it's also a lot of fun colors that you can use on your eyes. So basically, that is my review of the Ursula Beauty Book and also the Ursula Shimmer Powder from Walgreens. So comment below which beauty book slash collection you'd like to see next if you'd like to see Maleficent or if you'd like to see the Evil Queen. So let me know. And also check us out on Instagram at InstaBeautyPop or on Facebook at LikeBeautyPop and check back every Tuesday and Friday for new videos and click that button below to subscribe. Bye guys.